All right, welcome back. Uh, we're working on model one here. I did have Bob video starting from the beginning. Not quite sure why it didn't come out. Um, so you know, I fortunately I caught it before we got too far into this. Uh, basically, we plugged in, and turned it on, uh, despite the fact that the cord is looking pretty crappy. Uh, we did plug it in and turn it on, and it did run. Uh, I didn't have much range on the speed, but it, it did run. Um, and we've gone and uh, got the gearbox cover off, the handle off, and we pulled it back apart and got our governor out. Uh, there was a lot of uh, debris in here, but most of it was from the uh, the coating on the resistor. Uh, you can see this has to be polished up good and cleaned up good, and, and uh, the contacts on here look really good. They look in excellent shape, so that's a good sign. And uh, the brushes in here look good. So we're just going to continue on with the teardown on here. Let's get our secondary brushes out, which also look decent. And let's disconnect some wiring. Alright, so you can see almost all the coating is off of here. And what's left on there is pretty much just flaking off. And it's just disintegrating. But the resistor itself looks decent, and these on these uh, Model 1s, Model 3s are, are usually in really good shape, um, despite how they look. I mean, they're usually not bad. They seem to be far more durable than the, the later style. Let's get our wires straight here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take our two screws out and hold the two halves together. Pull it. There's a wavy washer in here. We might as well pull that off for now. Alright, now we can separate or unscrew our two halves. screws out. So I'm going to go through and just disconnect. Um, get the cord connection disconnected here. All right, well, that took a ridiculous amount of time to get through, but we did end up getting it off. Now we can pull out this rubber isolator. Disconnected. This cord has definitely seen better days. 
inside and the outside of this machine. separated there's uh there's a brass ground screw down here that's got a lead hook to it that's got to come out okay got that off and I just dumped the screw out I believe we are good to go to separate this. I just gotta be careful pulling this apart that when you do a lot of times they pop right off, but you do that leads that go into your uh, brush holders here. pop those off you should be able to pull your whole end off. Now we pull the armature out. You can see that definitely needs some polish in but it really doesn't show any wear. It looks decent. Alright we've got to get this out of here. As you can see, it's quite the mess here. It's got all kinds of crap leaking out of it, which is the reason why we pull these out. And uh, it does have one of the one of the leads to the brush holders on it. So what we do is basically just um, desolder this and, and run a new wire from here all the way to the back and, and do away with this this whole piece right here because uh, these pieces usually just they're trouble if you leave them in. Like I said, you can see this one just leaking everything right out of it there. It's covered in goo. I was hoping it would have a date on it, but this one doesn't. Sometimes these have a date stamped on them. But this one does not. I do want to see if I can pull this out of here. So we're going to take you know two of the connectors off of here. All right, everything else looks decent. But yet this is a, a yet another field coil that's not going to want to come out easily. So I'm going to have to work getting this this field coil out of here, and uh, as soon as I get that out, I'll be back. Alright, well that was wasn't too bad to get that out. We went got the fuel coil out. Um, probably don't need to extend our leads here. The wiring looks good. These need to be extended and of course I have to rewrap this because as usual uh, the wrap on here just seemed to have broke. They get they, it gets so old I mean it basically just disintegrates. So that's no big deal to replace that. Um, and we, while we're at it we also went and drove the pin out of here too. So this piece is uh, pretty much ready to go, get degreased and sandblasted as well. Now in here, got to get our gears and shafts out of here. And I already checked the uh, set screws on here and they were loose, so we're not going to have to fight with these too much, or at all, so that's a bonus. Recess down in here, so if they're really stuck, it's hard to get anything on them to, to get any leverage, which makes it a bit of a pain at that point to try to get them out. We should be able to get our shafts out. There's one, not too bad. No, 
Well, that's not too bad. You can see there's a lot of buildup down around here. You can see, okay, down around here, you can see all the buildup. That's down there. I'm going to raise this up a bit. We'll go ahead and get our gears out. See there? It's in serious need of degreasing. They got a lot of that same old, really thick, gooey grease on them. There we go and get a lot of this. Uh, grease that's in here out with the gears out the stuff that's behind them that you can't get to it just becomes so much easier and a lot of this will come out once we uh, once we go through and, and degrease it I'll basically just get the rest of it out of there a lot of time trying to scrape a bunch out of there. Um, just got to get these two set screws out that, um, that hold the uh, brush holders in. Hopefully the brush holders will come right out as well. Okay, well one came out started to. So we'll be able to get that one. This one right here seems to be a little tougher. Okay, may have to get a little heat on it to get that one out. Because I definitely don't want to damage them trying to get them out. That one coming out. So, yeah, I might just get a little heat on here. Because I can't seem to get it to really move. Yeah, I can't get it to twist. These things are good for might be good for this. Not good much good for anything else. Oh, but they may be good for this. There we go. Well, at least I found a use for these pieces of crap. Alright, the only thing left in here is a bushing to get out, and I'll get that out after I degrease it. Uh, what else we got here? Turntable. Um, and it's here, just to get the feet out, and our parts up here. Um, and of course, the bowl height and the, and the little lever. So other than that, uh, this one is pretty much done. So I think what we're going to do is uh, stop the video here. Um, I will go and uh, get all the stuff cleaned up, get all the, that stuff cleaned up and polished up. Uh, we'll get these all sandblasted and powder coated and uh, get it back together. And we'll come back and check it out when it's done. All right, so we are all done with the restoration on this Model 1 here. Just got the handle um, installed on here. This is the last thing to to go on being that it had to get painted and uh, being that it's not fully cured yet I don't want to grab the handle to, to rotate it but you see it you know rotates down to move out of the way to, for you know to put your juicer on here uh, we've got the uh, got the front all polished up and the shafts polished up if you remember this thing was pretty grungy before um, it's got a new finish in the uh, creative cream which is uh, an exact match to the to the original color that was on here um, 
turntable on here is lubricated up. But anyways, let's go ahead and fire this thing up and give her a listen to. So as you can tell, it runs through all the speeds, even on low, um, it's nice and quiet. Uh, the machine didn't really have a lot of wear to it at all, it was mainly just, just cosmetic and uh, grunge and, and old grease and oil. Uh, that was the biggest issues with this machine here, so um, overall, you know, mechanically wise, it was in excellent condition. Uh, we uh, did extend the leads on the field coil and we got rid of the um, uh, this whole shebang that was in there and basically just ran a new wire from the back up to one of the uh, brush holders to, to eliminate that completely because that one was a leaking mess. As a matter of fact, I just picked up and I got crap all over me. Um, so we were able to do away with that, brand new cord on it and everything, new feet. So anyways, this one's ready to go. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. and. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you can get notified of any other videos that we post. And as always, we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.